All right, back with another vid. We got the Mac 6 G2 with the 5690 combo in here. Show you how to set up the throttle and brake. It ain't no set button on this, so show you how to do it. <clears throat> so you just want to hold this down three seconds it's flashing blinking get your throttle neutral set full throttle set then full brake set Read an 8S. I move that out the way. And that's how you set that up. Alright. Another cool feature. About this ESC, it got built-in Bluetooth, so you don't got to use that over-the-air program or plug up a programmer or anything. You just got your phone on you. You can change, adjust stuff on the fly in the field. So you just download the Hobby Wing Link V2. It pulls that up. Then you go up here and connect to the Bluetooth connection. It's going to pull up whatever's in your Bluetooth series. Then you go to Hobby Wing BL680, and then the default password is always 888. 888, confirm. Then it connects. Then you can check for firmware updates. Like it's up to date. Hit back. Go check your perimeters. And this is where you can adjust everything forward. Brake reverse. Lipo cells. Your low voltage cutoff. Motor rotation. BC voltage. It goes all the way up to 8.4. I'll put that on 6 because I'm still running the stock uh, servo in the Max, the X Max. And the brake force, reverse force, punch level. It goes all the way up to 9. I'm going to keep it at 5 right now. Like I say, you can adjust that on the field if you need more punch. So you don't got to worry about undoing the body, plugging stuff up. Drag brake zero, initial throttle. So that right there, if you want like instant feel in your throttle, you want to bump that all the way up. And leave that at like one. I said just testing this out. Turbo timing, you can adjust all that. 24, 20, 16, 12 degrees, 8, 4. And then your turbo delay. You can have it one second delay at full throttle. Or you can just have it on instant. So as soon as you hit full throttle, you're going to instantly get turbo. And then it shows your max ESC temperature, max motor temperature, voltage on your battery, and the max RPM, and the max current. I think it's pretty nifty, though, how they did. I think they should have did this in the Max 5 G2. They should have added this in there, but, you know, better late than never. 
a data log, or you get the real time data too. And once you do that, it connects to the ESC. When you hit throttle, it's going to give you some numbers. Back out of that. Oh, you can change the speed. You can make it speed, RPM. On the settings, change all your gear ratio, wheel size, and everything in there. Fine, I ain't changing that yet. But that's how you just get your real speed, your miles per hour on it. But it ain't really, because it's still like Bluetooth. It should have been like maybe Wi-Fi, maybe, where it have a longer range. But the range on this ain't nothing. Probably about like 20, 30 feet on this Bluetooth. So if you out there, you ain't going to get a full graft of it until it get real close. But you can still check your ESC temperatures on it and everything when they get back in. Alright, that'll do it for this video. Alright.